Hello and welcome to Microsoft Dynamics GP Feature Overview for Inventory Reason Codes, a new feature in GP 2013. I'm Devin Southall from Software Solutions Group, a Microsoft Dynamics GP partner in Western New York. Here we are in GP. Let me show you the Inventory Reason Codes. I'm going to click on the Inventory tab and show you the Transaction Entry screen. Here in the Transaction Entry screen, you will see a new field, Reason Code. Let me set up a Reason Code and you can see how this works. I'm going to scroll down to Inventory Setup, and here's my Reason Code Setup. You also can go to Microsoft Dynamics GP, Tools, Setup, Inventory, Reason Code Setup. We're going to enter a Reason Code for samples. Notice that you can limit the reason code to be used in inventory transactions or transfer transactions. Sales samples are going to be an inventory transaction, so I'm going to turn it on for just the adjustment type. You can also limit it to be used in increase and decrease, or increase only when you're adding inventory, or decrease when you're removing inventory. Sales samples are going to be for decrease, so I'm going to put that in. Next, it asks for a default offset account. And really, this is the power behind the reason code setup in inventory adjustment transactions. What this allows us to do is specify a default expense account we want to be used when samples are taken out of inventory. So I'm going to put in the expense account that we want sales samples to go to. Now we're going to go to the transaction entry and we can see this feature in use. I'm going to start an inventory adjustment, and first I'm going to start an adjustment without the reason code so you can see where the GL accounts come from. We're going to remove one of the 24XIDE item from the warehouse. And if we go to our distributions, you can see that the inventory offset is going to the shrinkage and waste account. And the reason is because on our item maintenance accounts, our inventory offset is the shrinkage and waste account and that's where it's going to be charged to. So now, with our reason code, we're going to use the same item, but now we're going to use our sample reason code. Our samples reason code, and we're going to subtract one from the warehouse, and we're going to go to our distributions. Now, Rather than shrinkage and waste, it's going to sales samples. The reason code setup also works with site modification if you're utilizing this feature within GP. So we're going to go to our samples account, samples reason code. We're going to remove one from inventory from the north site. North site is set up to use site modification to the division, the first segment, value of 400. So if we go to our distributions here, we're still going to see sales samples, but we're seeing sales samples for the division of 400. So that feature is also supported. Now remember, when we set up this reason code, we set it for negatives only. So if we do a positive transaction, it's instantly going to error. On the transfer entry, the field is in the same location, the reason code setup. These are not required fields, so transactions can be entered without reason codes. But if the reason code is used, it records it and it can be referenced later for reporting purposes or on the case of the adjustments, a different expense code is used. On the transfers, no different expense is needed since it's going from inventory to inventory account. I hope you have enjoyed our presentation of inventory reason codes in GP 2013. I'm very excited about this feature. I think that the reason codes adds a lot to the use of GP in distribution, manufacturing, and other places where you're removing inventory for various reasons. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Goodbye.